This is moving average from data stream. So given a stream of integers and a certain window size, you have to calculate the moving average of all the integers in the sliding window. So example on the input, you're instantiating the moving average. And then the window size is going to be the size that's passed in for the creation of this instance of moving average. So, uh, and then um, next is called. And so when next is called, you are going to have to continually calculate the average. So the window size is three initially. And then um, you're calculating next, this number one is added into this stream. And so that's gonna be an average of one. Uh, 10 is added into the stream. So that's gonna give you an average of 5.5. .5. Three is added into the stream, gives you an average of 4.6. And then when five is added to the stream, it reaches the window size of three. So then you're going to remove the first one that was added into the stream. So your, your window is moving over. And so then you're gonna find the average of 10, three, and five, because now you're not finding the average that includes the value one. So the data structures we should use for this is, um, a queue, since it has um, the FIFO properties, so that if our window size is reached, it'll remove the um, value that was put in there, kind of like the oldest value, so it'll be our value to the left. And then we'll just have an int that will be accessible as be our window size. And then we will just keep track of um, the current sum for all uh, values in the window, which will just be um, we'll have our queue. We will have our window size and we will have our current sum. We'll initialize our queue here as it's a linked list. And our window size will be the size given to us. So here we're going to say, first of all, um, if our Q size is the window size, if it's already the window size, we're going to have to remove one. We'll say that our current sum is going to be equal, minus equal to the value that is pulled out of the queue, and then that will also take that value out. And we're gonna take our current sum and we're going to add the value that is passed into this next method. And then we're gonna put that on the queue also. So we'll say add value and we are just going to return the current sum divided by the Q size. And that should work. So um, Let's let's do some printing out and we'll see here um, what exactly this is doing. Let's say uh, this is the Q size. And 
And we'll do this is the current sum. And okay, let's try to run this. So the Q size starts off with zero, the current sum is zero. Um, let me say before adding value. Uh, the current sum before adding the value is zero. Then we have the current. Uh, sum is equal to 1 and it's uh, 1.0 because it's a double. Now the Q size is 1, the current sum is 1, and then we add the current sum and it's 11. The Q size is 2. Before adding that value, it's 11 and then it's 14. The Q size is 3. The current sum before adding the value is 13 and then the current sum is 18. Divide it by 3 and then that gives you 6. So um, that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward uh, as long as you use a queue because then you can just call this poll on it and it'll remove um, the first one in. This will be the first one out when you call poll on it. And it'll give you a value, but it'll also poll at the same time, which means removing it. So that's it. Okay, thanks.